Hey everyone, Bear 1000 here. Today, we have fan mail. We're going to open this up and see what it is. I know who it's from, but I don't know what it is. You're not going to know either because I'm not going to put it in the title. So it's going to be a surprise for you too. So stick around, let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, so this is from a gentleman. His channel name is Dennis Hobacker, and I'm going to put a link to in the description to his channel. So, you, if you would please go check him out and watch some of his, some of his videos. He had sent me a drill, a cordless drill here a while back. So, um, and I still use that regularly around the house. Monkeys used it, so it's still doing great. Um, so let's open this up. He said he was going to send me something, but he didn't tell me what. I said, cool. Uh, I sent him a tripod. He said he didn't have a tripod. So, you know, with money as tight as it is nowadays, I've got plenty. So I sent him a vintage one that I had <clears throat> that I used. I used it behind my uh, computer for like live streams and stuff. So, I sent that to him and he really appreciated it. So, let's see what we got here. I'm going to this up. Alright, we have Hot Wheels. I have a couple Hot Wheels in the garage. Something on my lens. This is a 1940 Ford from Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, Ant. From the Ford Motor Company, slammed with fat tires in the back and smoothed out with no bumpers or headlights, or no bumpers or handles. This hot rod or favorite was made for cruising to the drive-in or showing off on the main drag which uh, when we would take handles off these cars because I before I was YouTube and in my younger days I built a lot of hot rods and stuff we would call uh, like taking the door handles off we would call them shaved we would shave the door handles and we would put fringe tail lights in them and stuff like that so that's pretty cool thank you Dennis I got uh, some bigger cast iron cars up on a shelf in my garage that um, I uh, I got them covered up so they don't get dusty and uh, I call it my little um, my little car show so this will go up there with those I have a Bobby Labonte car too so Here we go. Oh, well, that's cool. It's an old Chevy Nomad. Monkey's ordering a supper. She wants some pizza. Her mom wants some pizza. She's gonna have a salad. I'm gonna have some wings. So, uh, looks like. Would that be about a 55 Chevy Nomad? Now these these cars in in real life are really cool looking. Um, when when they're built like this, like the old school, you see it's got the side pipes and stuff. These are really cool. A buddy of mine had one of these, and uh, it was really nice. It was a uh, blue. Uh, he didn't have the side pipes, he just had uh, pipes coming out the back. But it was really nice. And it had a 283, which is a small, <laughs> a small, uh, well, it was a small block V8, but um, uh, 283 cubic inch, which of course is smaller than the 327 and the 350. But man, that thing would that thing would get up and go, believe it or not. And it, uh, it had a three on the tree, three speed on the column. 
so that one's pretty cool. I love Chevys. All right, now let's see, make sure there's nothing there. All right, let me check this out. I'm looking at the back, so, oh wow. <laughs> check this out. This will not be open. Uh, I love Coca-Cola. Uh, he knows that too. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is awesome here. 1953 Jaguar XJ. What is that? 120. Uh, a friend of mine had an an uh, XKE um, in real life. It it was pretty. It was a it was pretty ragged out. I mean, you know, I've been through so many hands, but it was still cool, you know. This is awesome. Yeah, um, I'm probably not going to open this up. This will be on my shelf just the way it is. Matchbox collectibles. I love it. I love all these. And again, Dennis Allbacker, his channel uh, will be in the description below. So please go check him out. Um, give him a subscribe and tell him I sent you. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. We got the Ford, we got the Chevy, and we have a Jaguar. I had a Jaguar in real life. It wasn't vintage or anything at the time. It was a little rough around the edges too, but it was cool. Someone had painted it metallic green, so I went ahead and put the yellow and orange flames on it. Um, but yeah, it, it was pretty neat. It was the it was the four door Jag, uh, kind of like a grocery getter version, you know, of the Jaguar. This is really cool, really nice. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you're getting some use out of the uh, out of the tripod. Like I said, it's a vintage one. It's not much, but you know I used it for a long time, um, like camping and stuff in different situations. And then I, whenever I see them uh, cheap enough at like thrift stores and yard sales, I'll just pick one up because you can never have have enough. Uh, tripods in my book so I've got I've got several now so hopefully you're getting some use out of it and thank you for the gifts I really appreciate it can't forget the nomad here um, this one here okay I was gonna say the nomads were two doors but this one looks a little different neat so yeah that'll go up with my um, with my car my little car show so thanks again Dennis I appreciate it hopefully you have a great week stay safe I appreciate it everyone else Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one once I get my garage cleaned out and I start filming in there more you guys will see these up in, in the uh, background of some of my videos I'm sure so Thanks again, Dennis. I appreciate it. And uh, y'all stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.